So we have a um, little issue with using uh, oils at home and not in the classroom and it's a little difficult. So I have sent home with you mineral spirits and it's gambling mineral spirits. It's supposed to be odorless. It still does smell uh, to some degree. So we do need to make sure that you're getting plenty of air. Um, we're not uh, sitting there smelling it at all. Um, you know, the more air movement, the better it is. But most of the time you should have the turpentine, this or the mineral spirits closed up. So you don't need that out while you're painting. Um, it's really more for cleanup. So hopefully that smell will be uh, minimized. What uh, you do want to use for thinning it, to, if it makes it the paint flow a little bit better, is I've given you a little bit of linseed oil and uh, this is refined linseed oil what I would do is take that cap off and I apologize the caps not great um, and just pour a little bit out of my palette and then you can use that kind of like water when we were doing watercolors now you're not going to water oils down like that like watercolor definitely but um, but you, sometimes you may need it to flow a little bit better and so I might add a little bit this tends to have a little bit of a yellowing effect. It, obviously, it's a little bit yellow now, a little amber, but um, as it dries and as it gets uh, older, it tends to yellow just a little bit. So probably you're not gonna ever notice it except when you're using pure white um, and it might get a little bit uh, yellow if that's the case. So here's basically the, uh, the process we wanna do is to clean up um, I've given you a one jar pretty much full of mineral spirits, and, but I've given you three other jars uh, f that are empty. And so what I would do is I would pour and divide um, that one jar full of uh, linseed oil up into at least two other ones, possibly three, if you have another container. Um, I think it's gonna work better if you have four, if you have some other container, to uh, pour off um, your, your waste later on. Um, if not, then you have just three of them and you'll use the other one as kind of that waste container. So if, typically if I've got my paintbrush all um, dirty, I'm never gonna clean out my brush like I do a watercolor. I'm constantly cleaning out my brush, getting a new color um, because you can't really wipe it off. But oils are really different. You're gonna need to take paper towel and you're just gonna need to wipe um, as much paint off as possible and then you just dip in more paint and you go so especially for this project when we do impressionism we want a lot of different color variations so it's not going to hurt anything you're going to be able to wipe off a, a considerable amount just this way when we're completely done we want to do the same thing we want to get as much of that oil off as we possibly can with the with the paper towel so um, we'll use a lot less mineral spirits if uh, that's the case we really don't want to abuse this mineral spirits because we need it for this painting and potentially others. So we want to try to keep it as clean as possible. And really that's possible if you do this technique. Um, you don't need to throw it out when you're all done. So I, I wipe my brush off as much as possible. Then I'm going to go into um, my first jar. And, and you really need to kind of mark this so that you know this is my first one. This is going to be my dirtiest one. And I'm gonna swish it around in my jar as much as I possibly can and get it clean as much as I can. So now I've got it pretty clean. The majority of the paint went off in that first jar. Then I have another one that has clean mineral spirits and I swish it around in there. So now if there's any left, it probably is gonna come out here. Then we can move to the third one. And by that point, there shouldn't hardly be any, um, any paint in there at all and we're gonna get that brush pretty clean. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to dry it off. And I always wanna um, pull the paint brush um, and kind of in the direction that the paint brush or the bristles go. Um, that way I point my brush and then it will dry that way. And it's just kind of, again, like your hair. Um, if you let your hair dry wet and it's all messy, then it's gonna, the next morning it's going to stay messy. If you dry it with curlers, then it's going to try to stay in that curler. If you, if you dry it straight, then it's going to stay in that state. So we want to take care of our brush. We want to make that sure that's clean. Start here, get as much out as you can, move on to this one, move on to this one. Then the key is this, this first one especially is going to get dark and it's going to look kind of ugly. 
Um, and you're going to be like, well, I got to throw that away. Well, wait um, like a couple of days, maybe at least one day. And then what's going to happen is all that sediment is going to go to the bottom of your, of your uh, jar. And this is going to definitely clear up. It might be a little bit cloudy. That's why we want to make sure that we're um, always keeping this as my, my initial cleaner. And then this is my middle one and this is my end one. So then it's nice to have that, that other jar. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that out into another jar. And I'm going to pour it as long as I can until I can start to see the sediment is starting to get up. I want to leave a little bit in there. And then I can swish it around. And so I've got my clean, my basically clean stuff in another jar. I'm going to swish it around, get the dirty stuff, and then have another um, jar, maybe just like a Dixie cup or something like that. Um, it'd be nice if you had something like this, and pour that really dirty stuff, and try to get that as much as we can into this this new um, jar. Now, what happens is that gets pretty messy, but then if I wait a day, that will kind of fall out. And now you can kind of see in this one that's been sitting here for a couple of days that we've got a lot of paint in the bottom, but the top is pretty clean. So I could pour that back out. Let's see if we can get it on camera. And what I'm left with is, if you can see that, is just the paint. So this is from our classroom. And it's been sitting there for a little while. But so all that paint is, has kind of filtered itself out. And really now I have really clean, um, clean turpentine. So I would pour this out into, a, into another jar, all the clean stuff after Saturday. Then I would pour the really crappy stuff into another jar or a Dixie cup or something like that where you can just throw that away. So you're going to lose a little bit of mineral spirits eventually because it's just not going to filter itself out completely. But um, then I would pour that back in and we would end up having clean, um, a, a clean jar to start the next day. Then I would do the same thing with the second, the second one. I would pour off what's clean, swish it around what's dirty, and pour it into a separate one that I can throw away. Okay, and then I would do that with the third one. I would pour off the clean after it's settled and there's probably not going to be much sediment underneath there at all, but there might be some. Pour it off, then pour off the really dirty stuff into the one and pour that back in here. Okay, So uh, that way you can really preserve and reuse this uh, mineral spirits over and over and over. I mean, this, is, um, this was from a whole class, um, and, and you can see it's a little bit cloudy, but uh, as we go along, it's cleaner and cleaner. And when, that's when I've got four or five people painting and I still get that, that filtration out. So um, you should have plenty of uh, mineral spirits if you're, if you're really careful, but you can't start swishing around and shaking it up because then that sediment will come back up here and you're gonna have to wait another 24 hours or so for it to settle back down so you can pour it off. Because what we don't want to do is we don't want to leave that sediment in here and then try to swish it around again because then that's just going to get our brush all dirty again. So we want to pour off the good stuff the next day. When I'm ready to paint, I'm going to pour that off. Then I'll pour off the really cruddy stuff into something I can throw away um, and then pour that stuff back in here. Okay, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, you have to talk to me.